continued fallout after people living in the Cape Henlope and School District say no to a new tax rate. Good evening. I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 6. We begin tonight with reaction and the fallout to yet another failed referendum for the Cape Henlope and School District. Almost 9,000 people came out to vote in what was the district's second attempt this year to pay for more projects and handle growing development. The district says results were close. 53% voted against the referendum, 47% for it. Joining us live in Lewis is Coast TV News reporter Elisa Weber. Elisa, once again, it was a controversial issue. Maddie and Charlie, people I spoke with today, say that they were upset to see the results, especially because it was such a close call. Once again, the Cape Henlopen School District was not able to successfully convince taxpayers to vote in favor of a new tax rate. Tom Iarossi, who lives in Lewis, says he is very disappointed to see the referendum fall through. Uh, I'm a huge believer in public education. I think that uh, it's public education at all levels is an investment in our society. We all benefit from having an educated populace. Uh, private schools, that's fine for some people, but it's not the answer for as many people as we have in this country. So when a school is deprived of the resources that it really needs, I think it shorts our students and then in turn shorts our uh, society too. Superintendent Bob Fulton said leading up to the referendum that 90% of the money generated would be for safety and security expenses, as well as to pay school staff salaries and energy costs. This is a major setback to the district's plans of purchasing over 102 acres right here off of Cedar Grove Road for a new district office as well as a bus transportation station. According to the district's unofficial results, 4,628 people voted against the new tax rate, while 4,133 voted for it. Coast TV previously spoke to some property owners who were concerned how much the referendum would actually cost them once Sussex County's reassessment project is complete. I'm just wondering if, if uh, the fact that it's a pretty high percentage of senior citizens and retired people that don't have small children living around here, um, that that is why that they that um, they voted against that they didn't want to s see the beginning of the taxes to increase, but the taxes are very low. In response to the referendum falling through, the district says, quote, we are extremely disappointed in the results and will take some time over the next few weeks to determine both short term and long term plans moving forward. According to the district, enrollment issues are a major reason why more funding is needed. Enrollment has grown from over 4,000 students in 2000 to almost over 7,000 students as of spring 2024. In Lewis, I'm Elisa Weber, Coast TV News. Elisa, thank you. According to Kate, the referendum, if it had passed, the tax impact would have been phased over three years. And we'll break down what that was going to be. It would have been 30.5 cents per $100 of assessed property value for operating expenses. That would stay the same. Then in year two, CAPE would add part of the debt service increase, which would be 2.3 cents. And in year three, an additional 6.3 cents for debt services would be added, bringing the total to 39 cents, which the district says is $109 for the average assessed home. But again, many voters said no, fearing that $109 could drastically increase after the court mandated reassessment. And this brings us to our Coast TV poll of the evening. We want to know what changes would you make that would get you to vote for the Cape Henlopen district referendum? Let's take a look at the updated results from the last news hour. A large majority are still saying they want to wait until that reassessment is over, though no district office and a lower tax are also getting a decent chunk of the vote there. And I remember that the number that they have quoted is around $23,000 is the average home in the way that they're currently evaluated. Oh, currently, right. So when that changes, it is going to be a big shift for people. Uh, if you want to go vote, you can do that at coasttv.com or use the Coast TV mobile app.